This Bitcoin news will absolutely shock you. This could send the Bitcoin price to absolutely new heights. We're not that far away from setting new all-time Bitcoin highs. We're waiting for the next catalyst. We're waiting for that next big push. And I think we may have just found it, guys. Do not underestimate this Bitcoin news that we're going to share in this video because this could literally unlock a freaking vault filled with cash, literally. So smash the like button, subscribe down below. Let's jump in. Our friend over here, Marty Party. Oh, there we go. Now you can see me. Says, don't underestimate this state of Wisconsin investment board buying Bitcoin ETFs. This will start a chain reaction. May 28th is looming. $27 trillion in these funds. Now you're maybe wondering, why would the state of Wisconsin Investment Board be buying Bitcoin ETFs? Well, this has to do with pension funds. And there's been growing rumors that these states in the United States could be adding to their portfolio in Bitcoin. So if we go back here, Dennis Porter put this out. The ninth largest state pension fund in the United States just yesterday bought Bitcoin. The states will lead. Here's the thing. This could be a domino effect, right? Where all states, all of a sudden, it's a chain reaction and boom, right? You've got all of these states buying Bitcoin for their fund. So if you just do a quick search, Bitcoin pension fund, you'll see that this has been a topic of discussion for a while. Here you go, just in. Michael Saylor says there are thousands of pension funds in the United States managing $27 trillion in assets. They're all going to need some Bitcoin. This, came, this comes again with this news right here. Wisconsin becomes the first state pension to buy spot Bitcoin ETFs. They hold over 162 million. That's just one state, guys. Imagine what happens when this causes a chain reaction. Large pension funds, Mike Alfred right here, uh, says funds are buying Bitcoin. El Salvador is buying Bitcoin. MSCI is adding MSTR to its indices. Wealth management platforms are adding the ETF to their platforms. Retail hasn't shown up yet. And M2 is breaking out. And you can still buy one Bitcoin for less than $62,000. At least that was yesterday. Not today. Bitcoin's closing in at 65K, guys. Running hot and heavy. So not only did we get fresh CPI report, good data there, but we've also got great news on the pension front front, um, pension fund front. If we go out to the last month, though, we're still not as high as we've been. There's still time to catch it before it goes to 66 here, which I think we're eyeing that right now. That's our next target here. Um, Bitcoin price looking like a really strong reversal right now, no matter what. So damn bullish on Bitcoin long term, guys. These pension funds are for real. Again, State of Wisconsin Investment Board discloses nearly 100 million of BlackRock's hashtag Bitcoin ETF. Very, very interesting. Do not ignore this news. Do not ignore it. BTC price could go crazy just with this alone. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you guys hit the like button. Hopefully you come back to this channel for more news like this and information. Love each and every one of you guys out there. Enjoy your Wednesday. We'll see you.